fast. So I'm out here fishing on Smith Mountain Lake today, and uh, it's July. It's really hot. It's supposed to get to 100 today, or close to it. And uh, so I'm fishing a, my all-time favorite lure, Texas rig worm. Hey there, y'all. Thanks for watching Old Dude Outdoors. So today I want to talk a little bit about the Texas worm rig. Um, it's probably my all-around favorite lure. Uh, you can catch fish on a Texas rig in any conditions, any water temperature, any depth, shallow or deep. Uh, it's just a good all-around lure, and it's especially good around thick cover because it's weedless. So it's pretty simple. Um, you know, we got a slip sinker, bullet sinker, and a worm hook. And of course, you're going to match your hook size to you know your worm size. A really fat worm, of course, needs a bigger hook. Um, and I like um, a wide gap hook. I think you get better hookups. And as far as your sinker, of course, that's going to depend on your water depth. I have sinkers all the way down to a sixteenth of an ounce and all the way up to half ounce. So it just depends on your water depth and your size of your worm. And, of course, as far as tackle, you can use just about anything. I use bait cast tackle. Most of the time I'm using 12 to 14 pound line, depending on what kind of cover I'm fishing. And it's pretty simple. You know, like this is a... A big worm here I've been using today but you run the hook through the nose of the worm of course like so and then we're going to bury the point back in the worm we want the worm to hang straight so it doesn't spin and twist your line and I want that point to be just barely sticking out of the worm right there and that's basically what it looks like and of course you can use big ones you know, you can use little ones. Um, one of my favorites is lizards. I like lizards a lot. Uh, but also, various types of creature baits work well with the Texas rig. And today, for example, I've been fishing for kind of finicky bass. It's summertime, it's July, it's hot. And the fish that I've been finding have been down in some deep brush. And there's no other lure that'll go through brush like that Texas rig will. You can throw that thing in there, right in those limbs, and you can just pick it up and work it over the limbs. It, it's hard to beat. So we're gonna get back to fishing. So, I'm fishing some deep trees. I think you may be able to see that in the video right there. This big tree here drops down into about 25 foot of water. And the beauty of this worm and this type of cover is I can throw it right in those limbs and I can just work that worm through those limbs without getting hung up because the hook's buried up in the worm. And really, really good technique for summertime fishing, these big dead trees. So what I do is I'm let that worm sink right down in those branches. And then I slowly pull it up I can feel the limb, and I'll pull it over, and I'll let it drop back down. And I watch my line a lot. A lot of times when that worm is dropping down through those limbs, you'll see it, the line just tick, bass grab it. I'll pull that worm up through those limbs and a lot of times I'll just sit there and just kind of shake it. Keep it in the strike zone as long as I can, as long as I'm around cover.
here is a great big tree in water off the bank and the tree comes out to my left and it's just a straight trunk right there where you can see it but over in here is the branches and that's where I suspect the fish are out there deeper in those, in those limbs so that's what we're fishing. Nice bass there. And if you look right there, there's a big tree in the water that comes way out, but it goes this way, and there's limbs way out here, way off from the trunk. That's where he was at, out deep of water on those limbs. All right. So this little worm right here is working good in this muddy water around these deep trees. Um, that bright red tail, they can see that. But only getting small ones back here. That's another cat. Oh man, he's strong. Another old catfish, not really what I'm after, but it's kind of exciting when you get a bite because you think it's a big bass for a minute, but there's a lot of them in here. Fishing to a brush pile right out there pretty far off the shoreline, that's where he was at. They like to hide in the brush just like the bass do. 